Good guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm launching a brand new plugin for LumaFusion, the Screen Pump Pack. This is 12 brand new screen pumps, uh, straightforward, also with rotation to the left and right, and there's four versions of each. It's gonna be completely free. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in this video. Now, before we head over to LumaFusion to take a look at the presets and how they look and how we use them and the easiness of drag and drop and all of that, it's just super simple. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, uh, that would be appreciated. And if this is the first time that you are stopping by any of my, blah, 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 any of my videos, uh, welcome. It's uh, really nice that you took the time to click on this video. Make sure to check out Instagram and make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done that. Now with that said, let's head over to the iPad and uh, let's take a look at the brand new screen pump plugin for LumaFusion. Now moving over to LumaFusion, I prepared a couple of clips on a timeline which we can use with this brand new screen pump transition or well, it's not a transition, it's an effect. But you can also use it as a transition, but I think you're going to have to figure out that yourself and experiment with that if you want to try to use this as a transition. It's mainly made as an effect to spice up whether you make, you know, music videos or if you want to pump up some static clips and make it a little bit more interesting. Now, I've already opened this up in LumaFusion, so we're gonna go over to the project menu and we can tap on the button right here down on the bottom left corner of the screen. And here we can see the screen pump project. Uh, we're gonna double tap on this to enter the project and here you can see the transitions being on track number two. The bottom track here, number one, is basically just a filler so it doesn't do anything and the same effect is above these effects which is on the uh, bottom track as well, the track number one. So these effects here are only one layer so there's no stacking of layers so you can just do it simple by copying it over to your project and then copy the keyframes over to your next clip. We're gonna go through the process here. So let's do a playback of these uh, effects here. You have 12 effects, four which is going straight forward and four which is going to the left and four which is going to the right. Now, I think most of you will actually use the two in the middle of the first part of the effects here. So this is the one going straight forward. This is the most commonly used, but I thought it was interesting to make some additional effects for you if you decided that you wanted to have some rotation. There's also different lengths here. So if you want a super hyper fast pump in, that's the first one. And the two in the middle is a little bit slower. And then you have the slowest one at the end there. You can also see that on the duration of the clips here. Now let's move over to the two clips in the middle here of the first part of the transition going straight forward effect I mean sorry because the method is the same for everything so we're gonna select these two because I think these two will be the most used. We're gonna multi select these and we're gonna go over to the clipboard and we're gonna go over to copy. Once we copy these, we can tap on the project uh, button again to get to our project timeline and we can select, uh, I'm gonna select the screen pump two here and we can just go over to the clipboard and choose paste. Now we will have these effects pasted on track number two above our clips on track number one. So the next process is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to select a part of the clip which we want to make a pump effect to or add the pump effect. You can also duplicate this as many times as you want and place them next to each other. So let's just place them where we want and duplicate a couple of, uh, of effects here. So we're going to have three of the uh, fast one and two of the slower one. Then we're gonna go to the beginning of the first effects. And once we have our playhead here, we're gonna use the scissors to make a cut. Then we can use this button to skip to the next cut uh, or to the beginning of the next clip. And we're gonna use the scissors again and then to the end and do the scissors again. We're gonna do the same process to the three other effects which we have here as well. And once we have all of this, we're gonna just select one of these three here at the end and choose the clipboard. It's important that you select the one that actually has the effect though. So we're gonna select the clipboard and choose copy. Then we can select the bottom one and select the clipboard again and then paste. 
Now, since all of these clips has the same effect, we don't have to select anything else but the clips on track number one and then choose paste from the clipboard. And once we've done this to all the clips, we can delete the three layers which are on track number two. Then we're going to move over and do the exact same process to the remaining two effects layers. Once we have done this, we have the screen pump being applied to the clips and it looks like this. Now, as you might have seen, there's no motion blur in these screen pumps. So a pro tip here is to go into one of the layers here. It doesn't matter which one because they are sort of like Final Cut Pro. They stretch in duration if they are applied to longer clips. So we're going to go into the short one here and we're going to go to the center keyframe, which is going to be this one. Once we have our playhead here, we're going to move over to color and effects and we're going to apply the short zoom effect. Here we can decide the amount to begin with and once we have our desired amount, we're going to create a keyframe. Then move to the end and drag the amount to zero, then to the beginning and drag the amount to zero. So now we only have the keyframe in the middle, which has the zoom amount applied to it. The next step is to move over to the clipboard on top here and make sure that we disable everything except for the color and effects icon, which is the last one. Then we're going to choose copy and we're going to go over to the remaining clips, tap on one at a time and then choose the clipboard. Make sure that we disable everything except for the last icon and then choose paste. Now we're going to do this with the remaining clips as well. And we can even do this with the longer clips, which is five frames longer than the initial motion blur effect that we applied. So moving over to those clips, we can choose one of them and select the clipboard and choose paste. But make sure that you only have the last icon enabled and then choose paste. And if we go into edit here and tap on short zoom, now we can see that the middle keyframe is almost centered. So if you want this to be a little bit more to the left or right, you can just make a new keyframe and then adjust the amount and delete the keyframe, which you see here right now. Now moving over to the last clip and applying motion blur, we now have a motion blur applied to all the clips, which has the screen pump effect. You can also go into edit and over to color and effects and over to the middle keyframe over the short zoom and adjust the amount of zoom to your desired zoom blur, motion blur, depending on how much blur you want in your screen pump. Now, another pro tip here, if you do your color grading at the end, just like me, is that you find one of the clips uh, that you want to start the color correction on, and then you adjust all the parameters on this one. And once you're done with your color correction and color grading, you can select the clipboard and then make sure that you have the color panel enabled only. So only the color panel is going to be enabled. So everything else is disabled and then choose copy. And now you can multi-select everything and then hit the clipboard again. But now you also have to make sure that the color panel here is the only icon being uh, enabled. And once you have disabled everything and enabled this, you can click on paste. This will now apply the same color correction to every single clip here that you have on the timeline. Uh, this is a little bit, uh, you know, off because I just wanted to show you the change because most of these clips are already pre-color graded from the uh, stock footage side that I downloaded these from. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, these plugins are completely free and there's a link all the way down in the description below. So click on that and you can download the project package all for free. I'm also excited to see how you use these in your videos and what you would use them for. Would you use them for Instagram, for TikTok, for YouTube? Make sure that you tag me uh, on Instagram if you uh, upload them there so I can take a look at your creativity with these uh, plugins. So that's going to be the end for today. Hope you enjoyed the preview and learned something new from today's video. Make sure to check out any of the other 500 tutorials that I have as well. And uh, I will see you in the next video.